everyone, and welcome to your reading. I have a brief announcement to make regarding my name change here on YouTube. I am updating my YouTube name to Gina Moon, and I will also be welcoming all of you over to my new website, GinaMoon.com, where you can find all of the extended readings, soon to come new content, shopping, and more. Thank you all so much for your support and for watching, and let's jump right into your reading. Hello, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of April the 7th up until April the 14th. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Pisces. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Pisces. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels for providing any guidance and messages that Pisces is here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Pisces this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energy of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And Pisces, I'm now offering the extended reading where we go deeper into the situation, subconsciousness, the deeper thoughts that this person has for you, their deeper feelings, and anything that is coming your way. Okay, so if you are interested in the extended reading, do check the description box below. The link is down there. Okay, Pisces, you are starting this week with a dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, the four of swords in the reverse. Okay, so you are ready. You have already done the work contemplating over and over about the situation and you are ready to spread your wings and fly. After so much chaos, after so much conflict, you felt the need to rest, okay? So now instead of resting, you are gonna start feeling a little bit of a restless energy to move forward and to start opening up, okay? This is actually very beautiful energies. Let's see what's going on in your environment. Yep, exactly. I mean, what did I tell you? The energy of manifestation, the energy of the alchemist, Pisces. This week is a very important week for you. You are ready to turn your magic back on and you are ready to alchemize your brand new reality. Absolutely beautiful. Some of you guys might be dealing with any of the earth signs. I also see any of the air signs. What else do we have here? The sign of Aries, the sign of Libra. Yeah, so something in the past is working out in your favor because guess what justice is being served in your favor whatever it is that was tried you know and tested with you I do sense that it was a blessing in disguise or at least it will be starting this week wow look at these beautiful outcome energies I mean literally Pisces if there was any point in the past where you felt stuck like where am I going where where do I go next you know there is this youthful eccentric energy coming into your life where you are starting to release yourself from birth burdens. Release yourself from controlling people, controlling energies, people that have tried to keep you down, okay? There is this, again, you will start feeling a little bit of restlessness this week, okay? That will, it's kind of like there, it's leading you towards a spiritual place. I do sense that you are becoming a lot more spiritual and that's exactly why you are tapping into the energies of the magician. But let's go ahead and see what this Four of Swords is for Pisces. What is this Four of Swords for Pisces? Okay, so whoever it is that you are dealing with, it could possibly be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. It's somebody here who is coming into your life in the form of new energy, okay? So there is this kind of energy where perhaps, Pisces, you did not see the light at the end of the tunnel, but this week the light will be shed. And I feel like it's going to be shed by you. Okay. So there's this kind of energy where, you know, you're going to start to brighten other people's lives as well. I do sense that in the past, you were feeling a little bit stuck because this is also reminding you Pisces that this week is not the week to think too much about situations. Okay. There's this kind of energy where it's kind of asking you to open up to communication and try to see, uh, this situation in a brand new light, try to shift your perspective. I feel like you are already doing that. You are already 
Friday, embracing a paradigm shift. It's sort of like the energy where something bad happens, you know, and you used to think about it very negatively. Like maybe you thought, oh, this person did that to you. Maybe this person did this to you. But now you're kind of like understanding. You're like, oh, well, that happened to me because that person was not meant to be in my life. Does that make sense? That is the shift in perspective, the shift in paradigm that you are, um, that you are experiencing right now, or at least this week. Okay. You're going to start understanding that situations, people hold a deeper meaning in your life. Okay. And in the sense of you kind of manifesting this by default, there will be gifts coming your way. You will start experiencing the sense of, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about this and I manifested it. You know, it's sort of like these gifts coming your way and you are attracting these gifts. You are magnetizing the, these gifts into your life, Pisces, by simply having this shift in paradigm because you are being more open to the universe. You know, it's sort of like the universe. You are starting to understand this week that the universe doesn't speak English or any other language. It speaks frequency. So you are getting in touch, in tune with the frequency of love, with the frequency of allowing gifts coming into your life. And by default, guess what comes in? Gifts, gifts, manifestation, synchronicities, events that work in your favor. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Now there is somebody here, you know, there is a person that I'm seeing here that is kind of like in the energy of somebody who was not able to provide for you. But then there's this brand new energy here, somebody here coming your way after you putting in so much work and so much effort. So you do have an energy from the past, okay? An energy from the past that felt like there was some kind of injustice in that situation, but justice was in fact served. You actually saw that this was, it worked out in your favor. It worked out the way that it should have worked out, okay? It could not happen any other way. But there is this brand new energy that I wanna to touch on. What is this three of wands for? my beautiful Pisces this brand new energy could be in the sense of um, the person from the past I mean literally Pisces I cannot make this stuff up as soon as I said that a person from the past coming in with renewed energy guess what shows up your past your past showing up in your present reading saying hello I feel a special bond with you Pisces that I've never felt before I mean really the six of cups this is beautiful energy. This is a soulmate connection. This is like meeting a person and feeling like you guys have known each other since childhood. Maybe you guys have, or maybe you guys feel like there is this emotional bond where you guys feel so spiritually drawn to one another. Like you guys have known each other for like a million years. You know, whoever this person is, this person has an emotional bond and emotional attachment to you. However, they are not... Mm, like showing a lot of emotion. There's this energy where this person has so much emotion, so much to say, but then they don't know how to show it. They don't know how to say it. They, this person is very bold. I do sense that they have this very bold energy to them. They take risks. This is a person who does take risks. This is a person who is very self-confident, okay? So perhaps this person at the beginning, they took a risk towards you. They told you how much they liked you, but right now they're kind of backing off because I do sense that something is affecting them more than they thought they, it was. It would affect them. It could possibly be from their own past or between both of you guys, whatever the case may be. I do pick up on the energy where, again, this silence that you are experiencing right now in the form of maybe just energy, silent or stuck energy, there's this energy where this person has a deeper desire to be with you, okay? They have this deeper desire to be with you, and it kind of makes them angry that you know, it's sort of a lot of pent up energy that this person has. They get so angry at themselves because they, you know, they kind of like promise themselves that they were not going to let themselves love again. And then you show up in their lives and guess what? You open them up. You open them up like a book and you can see right through them. And just being around your beautiful, authentic energy, um, it sort of like opens this person up and then they kind of like try to close up their heart. And it's like the universe is like, it's already open. There's nothing you can do. I mean, Pisces is already in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just kind of cute. But we're going to jump into deeper energies here. Um, in the extended reading, I really want to know exactly what this four of pentacles is because it's in your outcome position. And I really want to know what this person's deal is because, you know, they're showing up in your reading as like not being able to commit, but then they do want to commit. So I really want to know who is putting in the work, who's willing to put in the effort because somebody here is ready to make some kind of a sacrifice. We're going to jump into that in the extended reading. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and get some guidance and angel messages for you. Any guidance and angel messages for my beautiful Pisces? What do we have here? Beloved one, my goodness. This is a soulmate card, you guys. 
Beloved one, Archangel Camuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you have nobody, somebody's coming in, okay? And if you already have someone and they're coming in with re renewed energy, congratulations. Let's see, what else do we have for Pisces this week? Blessings in disguise. Pisces, what have I been saying since the beginning of this reading? I mean, literally, I cannot make this stuff up. Blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem, Pisces, is actually part of your answered prayer. You will soon understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything starts to resolve. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best of ways. Absolutely gorgeous and beautiful reading here. This is what I have for you, my beautiful Pisces. If you are interested in jumping into the extended reading where we will go next, then follow me over there. We will go deeper into this person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts or deeper feelings, their next actions, next move and their intentions. Okay. And more. All right, my beautiful Pisces. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading and follow my new Instagram page at Gina Moon Official as I will be posting more on there.